All right, so in this video, we're taking a quick look at the HackRC F4126 all-in-one flight controller board. And I uh, don't really do a lot more of these sort of videos lately because they're kind of uh, a little bit monotonous and uh, they're all kind of similar. So, But this one's a little bit different. So this one, first off, the, the reason it caught my attention is it's very inexpensive. So this is a 20 amp on one whip style flight controller board and it comes in at $35 right now. So uh, I believe a lot of the other ones in the uh, similar category here around 20 amps are gonna run $45 and up. So it's at least $10 less than the competition. The other thing uh, that I noticed is this one has a barometer, which is right there, which is gonna be useful for the build I'm gonna be putting this in. And it's going to go into the Airblade Mini Transformer 4 inch micro long range build. And that'll be a really nice light setup because I'm going to be using this uh, all in one board instead. And the barometer might be interesting in terms of getting accurate altitude information. Now, this is a bare bones board. So, for example, they have the, you know, pretty big solder pads. I mean, they're not super big, but they're decent for the size of the board. There's through holes here for um, the motor plugs if you want to use those, but they don't include them in the kit. So you just get the XD30 and you get a, uh, what is this, a 35 volt, 270 microfarad capacitor. And you get the rubber grommets. And another thing that I noticed that these grommet holes here are, as you can see, elliptical or kind of longer. So this is to accommodate different frames that have either the 25 and a half millimeter or the 26 and a half millimeter mounting patterns. So that's kind of nice. So sometimes you, you get a board and the frame will only take one or the other, or the board is going to be one or the other. And then you have problems. Uh, typically the frames are going to be capable of uh, uh, taking one or the other. But in, in this example here, you see the holes here on this frame don't have the slots so I think this one is 25 and a half millimeters so it's nice to have that option and I'm hoping that boards will the future boards will come out with this sort of idea to make it a little more flexible for your builds sideways um, USB port but still micro USB the little uh, edges of the boards can be cut off if you desire but I'm going to leave them on here uh, this is the Matek F411 target on this one, so two hard UARTs and one soft serial UART configured out of the box. Um, I think I'm, when I do my build here for this one, I'm going to put the crossfire on one UART and I'm going to put, I think, um, the GPS on the other hard UART. Now I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to put the um, Vista on the other hard UART and the GPS on the soft serial. So. Yeah, you'll see that in this video. Um, but the layout of the board is pretty simple, pretty basic. Everything's nicely labeled here. This come with a wiring diagram, of course. Five volts out, of course, the five volt regulator on this one. Beta flight OSD if you want to do an analog build. Um, got your UR2 over here, UR1 over here, uh, LED buzzer. I believe RT6 is going to be one of the soft serials. And of course, here's the barometer. And here's how much the board weighs. 6.7 grams and drawing the XD30, 8.7, the capacitor, 10.1, and then the rubber grommets and 10.6 all up weight. So again, you know, I think HackRC is definitely targeting the more budget-minded uh, builders out there and you know it's hard to see how this will perform or it lasts in terms of durability it'll i think it'll be fine for something like the build i'm going to be putting this in is just basically just cruising around i'm not really going to be stressing it out too much or crashing it a whole lot so uh you know if you're looking to, for a budget build where you're not going to be stressing it too much and not you're not too worried about reliability it should be totally fine for those kind of cases at 20 amps um you know so stay tuned for that video it'll be coming out later uh, but i just want to show you this guys because it is a pretty good price at 35 dollars for what you get anyway guys that's it for this video i'll talk to you guys in the next one